Hello everyone, I am Sai Chetanya. Welcome to Sai Tech Guru. In this video, I will be uh, showing you the what are the default settings you can actually play in the MI 10 Lite with the Snapdragon 765G processor. So with the Snapdragon 765G, at what graphics settings actually you can play without using any GFX tool, anything with only the default settings. So what is, uh, what this kind of processor is capable of playing. So let's check uh, in this video. And if you're watching first time this channel, do subscribe uh, to my channel, Sitec Guru. And also do check the links in description also for more details about the each and every smartphone which I reviewed in my channel. So it is a Poco F2 Pro which I got uh, recently as well. So do check those videos as well if you are re seriously interested. And let's get started with this uh, PUBG default, uh, what graphics you can actually play in this phone. So uh, let me even uh, show you the exactly the phone specification so that you know that I am using the Snapdragon R765 G processor. So let me show you about phone. As you can see in the about phone you can see MI10 Lite of 5G. So this is a MI10 Lite which has a Snapdragon 765G and with a 5G connection. So this is a processor which I am using and here is the PUBG game which I uh, just downloaded and just log in, logged in. And let me uh, show you the what graphic settings you can actually play without using any kind of GFX tool. So as you can see friends, you can only play up to uh, smooth and extreme settings only with the default settings. Unfortunately, you cannot play smooth and extreme with the default. So that's a bit of drawback uh, definitely I can say here. So usually uh, Snapdragon 730G and 720G, the mid-range mobile phones, they are not capable of playing the high graphics like uh, smooth and extreme settings. So if you want to play with the smooth and extreme settings, you need to use definitely the GFX tool. So there is no other option for you. Even in the Snapdragon 765G, unfortunately, the processor is not capable of playing uh, more with the default settings. So if you want to play uh, with a smooth and extreme, you need to use a GFX tool in this smartphone. So maybe in the future, uh, they might uh, the PUBG might get updated, but I'm not sure. And I cannot guarantee as well. So if your uh, doubt is with the Snapdragon 765 at what graphic settings you can actually play. So this is a video for you all. So now you do, you got a clear idea at what graphics you can actually uh, play using this kind of uh, Snapdragon 765G processor. So um, let me even show you the FPS count as well right now how much I am getting with the Smooth and Ultra. So 41 FPS I am getting at the moment right now. So this with the smooth and uh, ultra settings at the moment friends. So overall the phone feels pretty good and pretty fast in terms of the usage. Uh, I am using this phone for the past I think uh, 2 to 3 days I am using this phone continuously. And uh, during this time uh, I did not feel any lag uh, while uh, using the phone. This, definitely the Snapdragon 765 uh, g processor is a uh, little bit faster than the normal mid-range process. So I can definitely compare with the other uh, process and I can feel the difference as well. So this is an overall uh, review of the MI10 Lite with the Snapdragon 765 uh, g processor. And for more videos, do subscribe uh, to my channel. And uh, that's it for this video. See you in the next video, friends. Until then, bye.